Hi, this is Anna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing another golden book journal and this is beautiful vintage golden book as you can see by the cover and for signatures. I didn't add any trims here. I wanted to and then I, I like the contrast here so if you want to you can add something to it. I think it looks pretty just with the fabric. And I don't have a tassel this time, but I have four strings of beads. Difficult to show, but this will look beautiful on a bookshelf with all the colors. So let me show you the journal. Uh, the pages are in order as always. And here you can see it right here first and last signature has the uh, pages the book pages and then eclectic pages you could uh, if you want to you can ink the pages not necessarily with brown but you can ink it with blue if you have blue ink or something this could be a packet or you can add picture on top of it. Beautiful double-sided paper and this is glittered paper. Middle of the first signature and we have a couple pages here so you can always glue it on top of another page and journal on it. Or use it for collages. Here's a pretty tag. Again, you can just glue it on a page and then you can write on it or you can gift it to somebody with a gift, birthday gift or something. And here's another pocket with a couple things. Pretty shiny brown tag with gold color eyelash trim and one of these uh, vintage looking uh, ledger papers. And another tag, this one has embossed flowers, really pretty. And journal card. See, like here, I used one of these to make a packet. You can make a packet somewhere, not necessarily here, but maybe even here, white pages match really pretty. Again, you could ink that. So that was that. These are great for adding photos or again paper and then journal on it. This just kind of looks like that, so I have it here. Another pocket made with doily. This makes me happy. You could always glue it on top of the paper bag too. Cute paper bags, I've had them forever. And same green color. Second signature, so this one will be without the book pages, but with beautiful papers. This, I really like this paper. And then this is a note card or greeting card, and I just added a sticker to it. And here I have a couple things clipped, but you can always glue this down and write on it. And this was cute. You could use it. You could even make this into a pocket here and then put a uh, tag inside. Like this, for example. 
that would be cute too and then you can add trims or things to it so then planner pages again beautiful paper and then here we have a tag with sari silk and tracing paper you can use that too for projects and then manila tag you can make this into a pretty tag and journal card middle of the signature projects and then here are these projects here we have vintage uh, book page for projects and then you have pretty brown color tag with uh, trim on top so you can make this into cute tags purple i have purple because of this color here and then with this, you can either uh, draw flowers or stencil flowers, uh, die cut negatives that I don't throw out. I just think they're perfect for other projects. And I've made many projects with these things. Then this is a tax spot. Thin holds and ticket. So it's right here. And here's another journal card. Then this flips and you can write underneath that. And this almost feels like fabric, this paper. Here's that planner page. And this is a vintage wallpaper. I just had this piece lying around. So I made this into a pocket and then you have a couple uh, tags and you of course you can add them to a gift with your wishes or you can glue it anywhere in a journal or you can cut them in half and have six tags instead but they're so cute or maybe some secret wishes or something here's that greeting card here's this paper that's like almost translucent but it isn't I love it beautiful vintage floral pages then this is a postcard and that's that was here but this i didn't glue the envelope down it has a piece of paper in it so you can journal on that of course you can journal on the envelope and you can definitely glue it right here to the page or you can go to a different page so that's up to you so this is just a cool price tag I have ton of these tags middle of the journal and this is a tuck spot here are a couple things of course you can glue this here, so you could glue everything down, you could glue this, and you can glue either here or here or somewhere, anywhere. But that's cool background, and it looks like vintage wallpaper. So more planner pages, vintage book pages. This I thought would be cute. You could add your photo right here and then you could glue it and it will look really pretty. Or you can just write on it. I think this is Paper Studio. It's a pretty page. And another paper bag. More paper. Pretty flowers notes and butterflies with a doily in the middle and then this is a tuck spot with a few things i love to use these they're so cool you can uh, make a lot of projects with these things and then journal cards doily 
and then a couple lined pages. And that's a sticker. It's a fun page. And here is another book page for products. It's a tag made with Tim Holtz paper. And these are a couple tags. This is really pretty. I thought that worked for the journal because of kind of like travel and then pretty wrinkled paper. So see with things like that, what you can do, you can still glue this on top of this and maybe add a sticker and then you can glue it on a page and it looks so pretty. So that's a project for you. Paper. That's another sticker. I think it's it looks really pretty. And last signature. That's the vintage looking paper. A lot of lined pages to journal. Reasons I'm grateful for my body today. Reasons I am grateful for my mind today. Google page, draw without thinking and rest your mind. That's cool too. You could even do butterflies and things. Inspirations on this page. This is really cool too. I really like how this mesh, how this peeks through the mesh. It's so pretty. It's kind of like flowers here. And a pink, it's pink really pretty beautiful page I love this page I'm, I'm not looking at this I'm just looking at the nature around it and then this is another cute tag you could glue it and journal on it or make it into a tuck spot and a journal card remember this you can always glue it anywhere in a journal on either side. This is a flip. I just wanted to break the white color here and I added another sticker and I like this paper. It looks kind of like it has lace on the side. And middle of the signature here I extended this page here. This gave me a little tuck spot here, extra paper here. And then this, if you want to, that's vintage wallpaper, if you want to, you could glue this and this down and that would make you uh, a pocket. For now, it's a flip. You could also ink that around if you want to. So a lot of options. You could glue this and make a little pocket here as well and put something little inside. So a lot of space for journal. And this, I already glued this on it, but you could glue this on any page and then you could journal on it or here or anywhere. I like it. So that just gives extra color to the page. It actually looks really pretty here, so you could definitely glue it here and then write on it. Just, you know, have fun with it. I love this too. Look at these colorful houses. How pretty little town. And again, this pink works so well with the pinks here. Reasons I am grateful for my spirit today. So all the reasons you're grateful, you can journal about it and... That's it. So quite a bit of pages. To clip this back. 
beautiful project for you kids, grandkids. Cute old book. And as I mentioned, it will look beautiful on a shelf with all these beads. Look at all these beads. So cute. I have this bead on, bead on purpose here because kind of, kind of thought that it might be somewhere here in this scenery here. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please share the video if you can, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.